Hello people of the world, we're back in the garage, fire's on, it's not really cold outside, just burning wood for the hell of it, just burning oak, leftover oak, mm, what a waste, still keeping warm, well the bees have been active today, really active, proper active, so it's been a, it's been cold, I thought it was cold, but for some reason the bees didn't and they've been bringing in pollen but there's a big blossom tree just down a couple of gardens and i think they, they were, I, I was watching their direction of flight and a lot of it was going that way so yeah they're ramping up ready for spring well as i'm still burning oak well, I've got loads left look all leftover bits still probably not a good idea to leave it next to the fire Never have good ideas, really. I don't. I've had a clean up, that's a nice pile of sawdust. So, I've got a nice update for everybody here now. This is a pretty big update. I'm having a beer again. Look, the Hazy Jane. But we're gonna start and show you this. This is it. Here it is the ding dang do. Start at the bottom all the way to the top got the legs look look at that look at that grain in them legs look at it even see the saw look where i've ripped them in the saw look at it oak legs i made them out of um some sleeper cutoffs ripped them in the saw sanded them and part painted them up got a quadrant on the corners to finish it to the top I bought the quadrant, that's oak as well, I had, it was quite, well, oh yeah, it was 20 quid, this bit of corner quadrant, not that piece, obviously, there was like quite a big long bit of it, and I cut it all up to finish off the cut edges, but there was just, I ran out before I got to this bit, so I need one bit, but I'm not paying, no way I'm paying 20 pounds just for a bit for that, that'd be crackers. Yeah, well, I made the posts. I ripped them so they sit like actually bee beehive actually sits on them. All four. I've still got to paint the bottom and varnish the bottom. Yeah, I did a nice little cut on top, like a slope of water to run off. <clears throat> this is the plain side, the only plain side. So. You're gonna need some ideas for that. I've got an idea, but maybe someone else's ideas will go on there. And then look, I made a vent, air vent, all bound style. It's got tiny gaps in it to let air in and out. And there, there's it's all leftover bits of oak. It's all painted now. Everything, all the wood's treated. The roof's been done. Did the burning technique, the Japanese shobi bang wood burning technique on the roof because I cocked up with silicon like it like in the previous video I say tell ya but that it's worked well the with the black ebony paint went over it well and it looks it looks good it looks proper proper old barn woody roof that burnt right let's back up now we'll give you the full view I've got a back up quite far and there's a whacker plate in the way. There we go, look. Coming down roof. Roof down to the sign. The windows. Put some perspex in the windows for now. Could have pictures behind them. We've got the porch. Bit of welcome on the porch. The sign's up. Happy bees, golden honey. Second entrance with an arrow to the other entrance. They're quite intelligent. If you painted the end of that point on that, they'd probably put. They quickly realise they're not that silly. They're quite clever bees. Are this is on so they can have a flag. They can have a flagpole in there. It's going to make it. I put a bead on for when you lift the roof. That sits. 
roof hinges and sits onto that bead, not to mark the yellow. This is it's all just left of a bits of oak. So it's look at that grain. Look at that grain. That's his sleeper that is ripped out. The screw holes are a bit dramatic, aren't they? Look at them. What the fucking bullet holes. Alright. So we'll go around the back. Let's go around the back. It's massive. Pan back out. It's massive. Dad, what's wrong with what a Chinese? Oh, yeah, I have duck and orange. Duck and orange? Is that all? It's duck and orange then. Right, where were we? Bound to the back. Got more windows on the back. Perspect glass in. There's some quadrant on the bottom. So it did good quad that. It did that side, the front, left. All top four corners, but not the other side. So I'm not paying 20 quid for another. Oh, so there's a second sign on the this is the back where you'd stand to check the bees, and obviously they're flying in and out the front, so they, they don't even notice. And you've got the Happy Bees Golden Honey Factory now. So you'd open this. Let's show you the door. It's got the big band door. You put another air vent at the top. It's got little gaps in it to let air in and out, but not let bugs in and out, hopefully. We'll get mesh behind it, and we need a bee escape still. There it is, the band door. Big oak band door. We had to change this, because we had to change the door here. Strip this down. And change the opening lock because I, I didn't measure properly and I didn't want to trim a bit off the post and have one post different size to the rest. I wanted it all even, a lot of things even. Let's open the door. Door opens up. That's it. Insulation, a bit of insulation in there. Take it out. Oh look, see the frames, I've got a light in there, but look what's this, this is a bit of a surprise for everybody, been something else I've been working on and thought about, I'll zoom in, see if I can zoom in on it for you, and then I'll show you what they are, there we are, look. zoom in, hope you can read that, it's quite small. The little bee package seeds in bags, all wildflowers, but all UK British wildflowers. So, I'm not sure I could send any of these abroad because they're UK flowers and they're wild. So, but there's perennials and annuals in there. I'll show you anyway. Look, hey, let's pan out. Look at that, not as dramatic as I thought, but. Really cool. Let's put the insulation back in. Shut the door. Close the lock. Open her up. Seems lovely. I've still got to get a lock on there. I'll move this now. Look, I'll show you. Oh. Turn it off. This is what it is. These are the dowels. I ordered dowels. This is why there's some frames out. I ordered dowels because I've got to put dowels in. Look, my frames. And they've got to go in there. And I ordered ones. I thought I ordered 70 centimetres, but like, like a div, I ordered 30 centimetres. So they don't go in. They're too small. So that's useless. So I've still got to get dowels to put in the frames. There's some more frames. There's some of the bee bombs. There's a bee bomb. There's another beer I like, look, punk. And this, look, Japanese. This is my new metal detecting tool for the metal detectorists. Japanese. Look at that. I'll show you this in a minute. This is wicked. Right. 
Let's try and show you my B bomb. Just put this down and then I'll pick it back up. Here they are. Here they are. Little Hessian bag. Let me sit better in the bowl. I've got a big box of them anyway. So I've made. Made them myself. Made by Mark. Here they are. Hessian bags. See, the bag you can keep and reuse. And there's a tiny little uh, silver B on there. And this is the label, obviously. So, them ones are all ready. Some of these are going to um, a football club place that's doing a sensory garden for disabled kids. And they'll plant the seeds. Just hope they don't get stung by bees, eh? That won't go down too well. Right, well, this is what's in them. And I've seen some of these bee bombs, a lot of them come in clay, look, you've only got to do a little sprinkle of mine. And look at that, the seeds are popping out. But I've seen some, mum's got mum, mum's got some, and in them, it, to me, it's just sawdust, there's not much seed. So we whipped up some, with some wildflower seeds that were donated to me. I like things donated, I'm a bit lucky, but look at that, look. Oh. It's all there's poppies. There's over 22 varieties of wildflowers in there. Different coloured poppies, all different sorts of stuff. But look at that. That's enough there. That's the bag's not even. Well, look. It's not even half empty. So you want some seed bombs? Just don't go crazy, eh? Because you could do a whole garden with these. Well, let's keep it going. I did put a bit of sawdust in with them, but it's not like what these other ones are. And the ones in clay, you're not going to get many seeds in that clay ball. But this, this is full of it. There's 22 different flower seeds in there, wildflower seeds. So if anyone wants to know what they are, comment. You want to know what all them flowers are, and I'll put the names on the description. I'd say them, but they're like impossible to say because most of them are Latin. That's the contents of one of my seed bombs. Well, seed sprinkler, should we say. So you just rake the soil, shake it over, water it, and wait. And then you've got a nice little bag to keep stuff in. Whatever you like, your drugs or whatever. That's my bee bomb. I'll put that to the side for a minute. So there's a lot of them. Now look at this. This is for the metal detecting. For like when you dug your plug out, you need to go through it and you get dirty hands. So I've got this, I see this online and someone else suggested it. This is it, this is the name. I can't, it doesn't focus, does it? I can't say it. I'll say it. I'll try and say it. Nisaka. Nisaku. Wasasaku. Anyway, look at this. This is lethal. You'll get arrested with this. This is for planting. Look at that. Genuine Japanese steel. Blade. Got depth. You can't see it's so shiny, it's so lethal. It is literally lethal. Look at the edge on that. It's a thick blade. That's a few. It's got to be four millimeters, and that's razor sharp. That side, like a knife edge. And then this side, I'll saw it. I'll slash you up, and then I'll saw your bones like a pirate. Look at that. Cut your bread with that precisely. Probably even get curved bread, look, because it's curved. 
It's for planting. It's for planting seeds. Like <laughs> seeds, 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 seeds. Yeah, that's for the mimetics that to poke it in the mud. Really? <laughs> Well, next time I'm out detected and I've got it, if, if I don't get arrested first, just being a being crazy fucking idiot walking down the road with a Rambo seed planter. And I'll show you. Let's move everything. So that's it. It's complete. The beehive is complete, except for the follower board. Follow a board on the top, which is this, which needs a full board on it to cover and block it so that obviously you can start you start your bees on on five frames or whatever. But you follow a board blocking them in. And then each time you add a fourth frame, you move your follow a board back, add a frame. And that's that would be you could have one lot of bees living in this side. One lot of bees living in this side. And view them through the window. You could only view one lot though. You couldn't view two because there's not a window on the other side. There my dowels. No good. Let's just shut the lid down. So there you go. The Layans Hive. Doc measurements of all Dr. Leo Sash Ashkins. Layans Hive. But bee barn style, bee barn honey factory style for the happy bees. A bit like a twat walking around in a circle, trying not to fall over everything. Oh, see, come on. <laughs> Should have brought the drone down and flew it round. <laughs>